is 1. So, the exponents are whole number. So, meaning, that's an example of polynomial because it is composed of two terms. Alright? 3x squared minus the square root of 3x plus 4. That's an example of polynomial because the exponent of x is 2, 1. So, it's a whole number. Alright. So, this time, we'll give you an example of not polynomials. Okay? <clears throat> 2 over x. Okay, 2 over x. Um, this is not an example of a polynomial because um, our variable is in the numerator. It should be in the... I'm sorry, the, the variable x is in the denominator. It should be in the numerator. Okay? So, if you try to put the variable x in the numerator, it is equal to 2x raised to negative 1. Okay? So, the exponent is negative 1. So, definitely, that's not an example of a polynomial. Okay? Next example. 6 minus 2 times square root of x. Take note that our variable here is square root of x. Now, we con when you convert the square root of x to exponential, it will become x raised to 1 half. And our exponent is 1 half. So, 1 half is not a whole number. So, that's not an example of a polynomial. Another one. 4 minus 10xy raised to 1 fifth plus 2y. Alright. So, this is not an example of a polynomial because in one term, the exponent of variable y is 1 fifth. And 1 fifth is a fraction. When you speak of fraction, it's not a whole number. So, that's not an example of a polynomial. Alright, another one. 6xy raised to negative 2. The exponent is negative 2. A negative 2 is not a whole number. So, definitely, uh, 6xy raised to negative 2 is not an example of polynomials. Alright, another one. 2 to the square root of x minus 2. Alright. The square root of x, uh, like uh, in our example number 2, when you speak of square root of x, when you convert this to exponential, it will become x raised to 1 half. And 1 half is not a polynomial. Okay? Alright. Let's go to... Uh, we will have to identify if the given algebraic expression is a polynomial or not. Okay? Alright. Number 1. Negative 3 over 5x minus x squared minus 6. Is it a polynomial or not? Okay, we'll find out. Not a polynomial because um, our variable x is in the denominator. Okay, let's go to example number 2. Negative x squared minus 6x minus 2 raised to 1. Raised at 2 raised to negative 1. Is this an example of polynomial or not? Okay, this is a polynomial. Why? Although the exponent of 2 is negative 1, but 2 is not a variable. 2 is constant. It's okay if the exponent of the constant is negative 1. As long as our variable, the exponent of our variable is not um, negative numbers. It should be whole numbers. Okay? So, let's go to example number 3. Negative 3 minus square root of a squared plus b squared. Um, take note that our variables here is a and b. Okay? So, um, when you convert this to exponential form, the, a, the square root of a squared plus b squared is equal to a squared plus b squared raised to the square raised to one half. Okay? And then, we'll have an exponent which is one half. So, definitely, this is not. Alright? Let's go to example number four. 3 multiply 2xyz raised to 4 minus 1 over 2x squared. Okay, so notice that the exponent that, that the variable x is in the denominator. Um, so definitely this is not a polynomial because uh, the variable should be in the numerator and the exponent should be a whole number. No? So not a polynomial. Alright, uh, let's go to the types of polynomials. Okay, first we have a monomial. No? Monomial is composed of exactly one term. Okay, example, 5. So, that's one term. This monomial, constant is a monomial. Take note of that. No? So, negative 3 fifth x, y, z. So, this is one term. 
So, this is a monomial. Second, um, I, this is third example, a squared bc raised to 0. Take note class that um, any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. And 1 is our multiplicative identity. So, whatever numbers you multiply to 1, the result is the number. No? So, definitely this a squared bc and it is composed of one term. So, this is a monomial. Okay. Let's go to binomial. Exactly two terms. Okay, example, 2 fifth x minus 2 x y squared. So, 1, 2, two terms. So, meaning this is an example of a binomial. Now, next, negative x raised to 100 plus uh, y squared. 1, 2. So, two terms. So, that's binomial. Next is trinomial. Trinomial is a polynomial with exactly three terms. Okay, example, x squared minus 6 minus 2 times x, uh, sorry, 2, the square root of 2, y. So, 1, 2, 3, three terms, so that's trinomial. Okay, let's go to the degree of a term. Okay, the degree of a term with one variable is the exponent of that variable. Now, let's say, for example, 9x raised to 6. No? Um, our variable here is 6. Uh, sorry, our variable is x and the exponent is 6. So, 6 will be the degree of this um, polynomial. No? Next, the degree of a term with more than one variable is the sum of the exponents of all the variables. No? Example, uh, 2a squared b to the fifth c cubed. Notice that there are three variables here. A, B, C. So, all you have to do is to add all the exponents. 3 plus 5 plus 2, that's 10. So, meaning the degree of this polynomial is 10. Alright. Let's go to the degree of a polynomial. The degree of a polynomial is the degree of the term with the highest degree. So, meaning to say, we're going to check the degree of each term and uh, get the highest uh, uh, degree in which particular term. Alright, let's say for examples, 2xyz, this is a this one term, so definitely we're going to add the exponent. Now, 1, 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, so that's 3. So, the degree of this polynomial is 3. Second, 4xy cubed minus 6x squared y minus 1 half. So, this is a trinomial. Now, we're going to check, we're going to get the um, exponent, or I'm sorry, the degree of the first term. So, 1 plus four, 3, 4. Second term, the degree is 3. Third term, 0. So, definitely, the degree of this polynomial is 4. Next, negative 10x plus 2y. First term is 1. Second term is 1. So, definitely, the degree of this polynomial is 1. All right. Um, this is an example of a trinomial. No? 3x squared minus the square root of 3x plus 4. So, the degree of the first term is 2. Second term, 1. Third term, 0. So, the degree of this polynomial is... Let's go to identifying the degree of each term and the degree of the polynomial. Okay, we have a table. Polynomial, the degree of each term and the degree of the polynomial. So, first we have negative 4x squared y to the p 0 is to 0. This is an example of a monomial. So, what's the degree of the term? So, we're going to add the exponents of the variables. That's 7. What's the degree of the polynomial? 7. Okay, let's go to the second one. The square root of 10, x squared minus um, y to the p plus 2x cubed. So, this is an example of a trinomial, no? composed of three terms. So, the degree of the first term is 2. Second term is 5. The third term is 3. So, we have 2, 5, 3. So, what's the degree of the polynomial? Definitely, the degree of the pol polynomial is 5. Alright. Let's go to the next. A squared plus B squared raised to 2. So, take note that A squared plus B squared is the base and our exponent is 2. And the exponent will tell us how many times we are going to multiply the base. So, a squared plus b squared raised to 2 is equal to a squared plus b squared times a squared plus b squared. So, the product is a to the fourth plus 2a squared b squared plus a to the fourth. So, this is a trinomial. Um, degree of the first term is 4. Degree of the second term is 4. The degree of the third term is 4. So, we have 4, 4, 4. And the degree of the polynomial is obviously 4. 
Okay, let's go to the third one. Oh, the fourth one. 2y minus x squared y minus 1 half x y z. This is a trinomial. First term, the degree is 1. Second, the degree is 3. Third, the degree is 3. So that's 1, 3, 3. So what's the degree of the polynomial? 3. Okay. Um, let's go to the kinds of polynomial according to its degree. Na? So we have constant, a polynomial of degree 0. Okay, example 2. So our variable here is, uh, let's say for example, x. x raised to 0. That's 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Na? So that's constant. Negative 4 um, is also a constant. Um, second, we have linear, a polynomial of degree 1. So, example, 2x minus 1, this is a linear polynomial, okay? Although this is a binomial, but the exponent of our variable is 1 of degree 1. No? So, this is an example of polynomial of degree 1. Another one, x minus 4y minus 2. So, what's the degree of this um, polynomial? 1, okay? Because um, first term 1, second term 1, so definitely this is a polynomial of degree 1, which is linear. Okay, third, quadratic, a polynomial of degree 2, example, x squared minus 6x minus 2. So this is a trinomial, there are three terms, first term is 2, second term is 1, third term is 0, the degree, na? so we're talking of the degree, so... Um, definitely, the degree of this polynomial is 2, which is quadratic. Alright, another example, x squared minus 25. This is a binomial. The degree of this polynomial is 2, and which is a quadratic polynomial. Okay, number 4, cubic. A polynomial of degree 3. Example, x cubed minus 2x squared minus 1. So, this is a polynomial of degree 3. Okay, another example, x cubed minus 8. Um, the highest exponent of variable is 3. So, this is example of a binomial. At the same time, is cubic because the degree is 3. Alright, next, quartic. What do you mean by quartic? Quartic, um, it's a polynomial of degree 4. Kentic, it's a polynomial of degree 5. And then, we have polynomial of degree. Let's say, for example... Um, your polynomial is of degree 500. So, it's very difficult to name what kind of uh, polynomial is that. So, instead, we use the term like polynomial of degree 500. 